Hello friends, welcome back and this is your friend Farah Sheikh from F Sheikh Excel Master. And in today's Excel video, we are going to learn how to do the averaging of the top scores using the classic array and the dynamic arrays. Last week, my friend Oz Trusley from Excel on Fire have posted an amazing video that was really straight to the point and it was pretty simple how we can do the averaging of the top scores by using the large function and that was pretty amazing. By the way, the link is in the below video description so you can check out that video. So this is our data over here and we have the set over here, the scores from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and we would just like to take the largest value from this row and take the average of the top 3. So we are going to take the help of the large function and we are going to put this into the array and comma and we are going to say 3. So now what Excel have did, it has extracted the third largest value from this one but we would like to extract all the three values. So what we are going to do over here is something really amazing. In this place, the number three, we need to replace this number with an array. And how we can do that, I'm going to show it to you. That equals to rows, we are going to use the rows function, yes. And in rows, A1 to A3. And we are just going to make this as an absolute reference so that's very important my friends, so the range shouldn't move down. So we're just going to hit F4. And since I'm having the new calc engine my friend, just see what will happen. We got that series generated, the top 3. So in case if you have top 4, you can just simply press 4 and you get the series of 4. So now, I'm just going to pull it back. And this formula, we are going to wrap it in the large function. So large. Again, my array of my scores, comma, close the parentheses. Wonderful. So we got all the three largest value. Now simply we are going to do the average of that. And we are going to close the parentheses again. Wonderful. So that's how it works. And we got the answer over here with the classic method. Note my friends, if you don't have the new calc engine, then you need to press the control shift enter to get this answer. Dynamic array, oh my god my friend, this is super cool and I'm very excited to show it to you. So with the new dynamic array my friends, I'm simply going to use the new function which is called sequence and that sequence function will ask me the number of rows, okay. So I need number of rows that is 3, okay, since I'm extracting the value of top 3, comma, columns, nothing. Just leave it blank, the starting number. The starting number is one, comma, and how many steps I have to move? I have to move one step ahead every time. So as soon as I hit enter, that is a sequence we needed. One, two, three. Now this sequence, I'm going to wrap it into the large function. And in the large function, I'm going to say the large of this, comma, and close parentheses. This is an exactly the same answer we got it with the help of the new dynamic arrays. Now again we are going to wrap this information in average and average and close parentheses enter. Let us drag it down and fill without formatting. That's cool. This is what we were expecting. Let us change the entire data into uh, excel tables. So in this case my range is starting from a6. So I'm just going to simply say A6, wonderful, and that's my headers. And let us bring some new data and see how it works. And we are going to paste it, cross your fingers, bingo. It works smoothly without any hassles. So that's how you get it done with the help of the dynamic arrays and the classic array. I hope my friends you have enjoyed this video. So do let me know in the below video comment section. And push a like button, share this video, subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon for the latest updates. Signing off for the day, your friend Farah Sheikh from FSheikh Excel Master. See you soon. Happy learning.